Have you ever wondered about the secrets time has buried in the sands of the ancient world? Imagine standing at the precipice of history, peering into the abyss of forgotten civilizations and their enigmatic narratives. This is a journey into the past, to uncover the mysteries that have kept historians and archaeologists captivated for centuries. From the shadowy Sphinx to the enigmatic Stonehenge, the hidden city of Machu Picchu to the Terracotta Army, we're on a quest for answers. Let's uncover these ancient enigmas one mystery at a time. Our first stop is the land of the pharaohs Egypt, where the Sphinx poses its silent riddles. Casting an eternal gaze upon the Giza Plateau, the Great Sphinx is an emblem of mystery and intrigue. This colossal sculpture, a lion with a human head, was chiseled from a single massive limestone ridge. A feat that baffles modern engineers. How did the ancient Egyptians, with their rudimentary tools, manage to construct such a monumental figure? The methods they employed have been lost in the sands of time, and this enigma continues to mystify us. The Sphinx's purpose is another topic of fervent debate. Some believe it served as a celestial observatory. Others theorize it was a tribute to a pharaoh, and yet others propose it was a divine sentinel guarding the sacred Giza necropolis. Despite numerous theories, the Sphinx's true purpose remains shrouded in uncertainty, adding another layer to its enigma. Now let's delve into the debate around its age. Traditional Egyptology asserts that the Sphinx was built by the Pharaoh Khafre around four and a half thousand years ago. Yet some researchers argue that weathering patterns on the Sphinx suggest it could be significantly older. This controversial hypothesis implies that the Sphinx was constructed by a prehistoric civilization long before the reign of the pharaohs. The Sphinx wasn't just a monumental sculpture, it held a significant place in the ancient Egyptian culture. It is often associated with the sun god Ra, embodying the divine power of kingship. It was believed to hold the secrets of the universe, a symbol of wisdom and knowledge. The Sphinx, in its grandeur and mystery, reflected the complexities and the profoundness of the ancient Egyptian civilization. The Sphinx, with its inscrutable gaze, continues to perplex us, guarding its secrets under the desert sun. As we journey deeper into the unsolved mysteries of the ancient world, let's remember that the Sphinx, like many other ancient monuments, is a testament to our ancestors' ingenuity and their longing to understand the cosmos. Their legacy continues to inspire us as we strive to unravel the riddles they left behind. From the sands of Egypt, we travel to the green plains of England, home to the enigmatic Stonehenge. Rising mysteriously from the earth, Stonehenge, a monumental circle of standing stones, has fascinated us for centuries. It's a marvel of ancient engineering, and yet, its purpose and construction remain shrouded in mystery. Who built it? Why and how? These questions are as enduring as the stones themselves. Let's delve into the theories surrounding Stonehenge. Some believe it was a place of healing, others propose it was a burial ground, while still others think it served as a colossal calendar. The healing theory stemmed from the discovery of many skeletons around the monument, some showing signs of illness and injury. This led to speculation that people made pilgrimages to Stonehenge in search of miraculous cures. The burial ground theory finds its roots in the presence of cremated human remains found in the Aubrey holes, circular pits at the site named after the 17th century antiquarian John Aubrey. These findings suggest that Stonehenge might have been a place for the ancients to honor their dead. The astronomical significance of Stonehenge is perhaps the most fascinating aspect. The monument aligns with the solstices, which suggests it may have been used to mark the changing seasons. The heel stone, a single large block of sarsen stone, outside the main circle, aligns with the rising sun on the summer solstice, leading to the theory that Stonehenge was an ancient observatory or calendar. Despite these theories, the truth about Stonehenge remains elusive. Ongoing research and archaeological digs continue to offer tantalizing clues, yet the full story is yet to be unearthed. What we do know is that the monument is a testament to the ingenuity of our ancestors, a prehistoric feat of engineering that continues to awe and inspire us today. Stonehenge, a silent testament to the ingenuity of our ancestors, remains an enigma, its purpose hidden in the mists of time. Our journey takes us next to the cloud-wreathed peaks of Peru, 
where the lost city of Machu Picchu awaits. Ensconced high in the Andean mountains, shrouded in mist, Machu Picchu is a testament to the architectural prowess and astronomical acumen of the ancient Inca civilization. The city, built in the 15th century, remained hidden from the outside world until the early 20th century, its existence known only to the indigenous Quechua people. The construction of Machu Picchu is a marvel in itself, Without the use of wheels or iron tools, the Inca managed to build a city on a mountain ridge, 2,400 meters above sea level. The stones used were meticulously carved to fit together without mortar, some weighing as much as 50 tons. The precision of this craftsmanship is so remarkable that even today, a knife blade cannot be inserted between the stones. But why was this city built in such a remote and inaccessible location? Theories abound. Some believe it was a ceremonial site, others suggest it was a retreat for Incan nobility, while a few posit it was a testing ground for young Inca, proving their worthiness to rule. Yet the exact purpose of this city remains an enigma. Equally puzzling is the sudden abandonment of Machu Picchu. Around the time of the Spanish conquest, the city was deserted. Whether due to disease, war, or the collapse of the Inca empire, we can only speculate. The site held significant importance in Incan culture. Aligned with the solstices, it exhibits the Incan's advanced understanding of astronomy. The Intihuatana stone, meaning hitching post of the sun, was likely used as a solar clock or calendar. Even today on the winter solstice, the sun sits directly above the stone, casting no shadow. Machu Picchu, a city lost and found, continues to mystify us, its secrets veiled by the clouds, Despite the mysteries, or perhaps because of them, Machu Picchu remains an enduring symbol of the Inca civilization's grandeur, a testament to human ingenuity and resilience against all odds. Finally, we venture to the far east, to China, where an army of terracotta warriors stands in eternal vigil. In 1974, farmers stumbled upon a historical marvel while digging a well near Xi'an, China. Unearthing an underground vault, they revealed the first of thousands of life-sized terracotta warriors, each uniquely crafted with exquisite detail. This astonishing discovery was but a fraction of the grand mausoleum of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang. The terracotta army, a veritable legion of clay soldiers, horses and chariots, was sculpted over 2,000 years ago. Yet, the techniques used in their creation remain a mystery. Despite the existence of advanced kiln technology during the Qin Dynasty, the sheer scale of the Terracotta Army project baffles modern archaeologists. Each warrior, standing at about six feet tall and weighing up to 600 pounds, would have required an enormous amount of clay and a considerable amount of time to craft. Yet historical records indicate that the entire mausoleum, including the Terracotta Army, was completed in just over a decade. This brings us to another enigma, the purpose of this colossal endeavor. While some believe it was constructed to accompany the emperor in the afterlife, others suggest it was built to protect the tomb from intruders. The terracotta army also reflects the military organization of the time with infantrymen, archers, cavalry and chariots positioned according to rank and duty. But the scope of this massive undertaking continues to perplex us. Why were the warriors placed where they were? Are there more yet to be discovered? The significance of the terracotta army in Chinese history is undeniable. It provides a glimpse into the grandeur of the Qin dynasty and the ambitions of its first emperor. Yet despite the wealth of information it offers, the terracotta army continues to guard its mysteries. The terracotta army, a silent battalion from the past, guards its secrets well, leaving us with more questions than answers. From the Sphinx to the terracotta army, these ancient mysteries continue to captivate us. Each one, a masterpiece of a forgotten era, whispers tales of our ancestors, echoing their wisdom, their fears, their hopes, and their indomitable spirit. The enigmatic Sphinx, a sentinel standing guard over the sands of time, piques our curiosity, reminding us of the sophisticated civilization that once thrived along the Nile. The Stonehenge, with its mighty stones arranged in precise alignment, is a testament to the astronomical prowess and architectural ingenuity of our ancestors. The hidden city of Machu Picchu, perched high above the clouds, 
narrates a tale of an advanced society that flourished amidst rugged terrains, challenging our understanding of urban planning and sustainable living. And the terracotta army, standing in silent vigil over the tomb of China's first emperor, reveals the importance of afterlife in ancient Chinese culture, hinting at a complex societal hierarchy and sophisticated craftsmanship. These unsolved mysteries, each a piece in the vast mosaic of our past, highlight the knowledge gaps about our ancestors and their societies. They remind us that there is so much more to learn, to understand and to appreciate about our roots. As we continue to pry into these ancient secrets, we realize that the past, just like the future, holds many mysteries yet to be discovered. Our journey into the echoes of the past, therefore, is far from over. It's just beginning.